Hello and welcome back. We've got one spot left in the top eight for No Band List Modern. We've got two decks left. We're in group D. Uh, we've already sent the, the uh, Miracles deck to the bench. We've sent the Breach Post deck through to the finals. It's going to be Affinity or it's going to be Thopter Depths. It is a rematch, but it was a rematch of a pretty interesting matchup. So I'm, uh, I'm quite happy to be playing this one again. Don't you think, Shadow? I'm looking forward to playing this again. I like turning things sideways, and Affinity does it really well. So True story. Here is the Affinity deck. Perhaps you've heard of it. Uh, the no-bandless version, you get Disciple of the Vault to combo with your Arcbound Ravager, and you get Artifact Lands, not just the Citadel, but Seed of the Synod, Vault of Whispers, and um, that just allows you to have more stuff, both to fuel Cranial Plating and also to fuel Arcbound Ravager. Oh, by the way, you get four Skull Clamps, so you don't have one of your Artifact combos, just draw into it, right? Draw some cards and do some stuff. Uh, I mean, the last few cards we could haggle over. This version came in from a viewer with a couple Masters, one Champion, the random Fling, and uh, yeah, I mean, a lot of the usual suspects that you see in Modern even nowadays just juiced up. Uh, the opponent here, two different combo decks shuffled together, neither of which is legal in Modern. One, The backup combo, the Thopter Depths combo, Thopter Foundry says whenever you sack a artifact, you get a flyer, a 1-1 one -one flyer. Oh, by the way, that works out great with Sword of the Meek. Because whenever a 1-1 one -one comes into play, Sword comes from your graveyard back into play attached to that creature. So basically, if you have those two cards, every mana you spend both gains a life off the Thopter Foundry and also puts a 1-1 one -one flyer into play. Pretty good combo. Um, speaking of good combos, Vampire Hexmage Dark Depths has been uh, tearing up Eternal Formats to this day. And here we get to play it in Modern. So, kind of a blue-black controller shell, a bunch of missteps, ponders, preordains. Oh, oh, by the way, Jace the Mind Sculptor, and four dig through times. I mean, it's it's a lot of good cards in this deck. Um, but it kind of has to stitch together one combo or the other, and Affinity's not going to give it forever to do that. So, should be a close, interesting matchup. <sighs> Affinity won it last time. How did this group play I out? don't. I don't remember. I don't remember. It, I know that there was a a fling didn't happen because I thought it was the other card, but and I think it was against the stack. Ah, oh, it's hard to remember. I just yeah. remember it was close. I think I think I, I don't even remember. Both decks are one and one. We will uh, we'll send one of them through to the top eight. Let's see what happens. All right, so I need to play. What am I playing? Thopter Depths. Thopter Depths. You're playing Thopter Depths. I'm playing Affinity 5. I don't know why it's Affinity 5, but that's what it is. Because so you've had four different versions of Affinity. <laughs> four different decks called Affinity have been loaded in. Turns out the that's Affinity right. deck has made it into a few of our gauntlets. A few of our gauntlets. A few of our gauntlets. All right. So, I won the die roll, so that's exciting. All right. Well, I'm going to mute you. Good luck. Sounds good. We can chat more after the match. All right. Here we go. What do I have? I have two Thoughtseize, which seems somehow less than ideal against Affinity. All of his cards, well, some of his cards are better than other cards. This hand puts, what, four cards in the graveyard for Dig Through Time? I thought Thopter Foundry is a pretty good card. Wow. I think I keep this? I don't love it. I'm gonna hope I can grab something really important with Thoughtseize. Huh. I am playing a combo deck though, and I get a Scry Mulligan. Yeah, I think this is one of those where like the fact that I get a Scry makes the Mulligan that much more attractive. So I am gonna Mulligan. Now I've got Cantrips and a Hex Mage. I still get to turn one Thoughtseize if I want it. Yeah, I think I'm definitely keeping this at six and. I don't think Dig Through Time is where I want to be at in this matchup. Not in the opener, anyway. Interesting. I think... Okay, Skull Clamp. And... Sure, sure. Three Ornithopters. Yeah, now I'm going to Thought Seize whatever the good card is that's left. Oh, I probably have to get... I'm going to have to pay life here because I need both black and blue mana. What do you 
you gonna do? He's a lot of life, but I mean, if I get, if he's only got one good card in his hand, he's got a plating and a master of Ethereum, but he can't cast master of Ethereum for a long time. So I just take the plating here and now he's got one power worth of beatdown. All right. Can't even kill his creatures with Skull Clamp. True toughness, the drawback of Ornithopter. I have no idea why I'm not. I just noticed I have a mental misstep in my hand. I literally didn't see it. You'd think with all the vintage, eternal formats I play, I would notice that I have a mental misstep in my hand. I obviously should have misstepped the Skull Clamp. Hopefully it doesn't matter. Um... Ponder, then preordain? Preordain, then ponder. I think I want to see more cards now. I really, really want to find a black source here. I found a swamp. So, what? I just draw the swamp? And then next turn I can play both the Hex Mage and the Dark Depths? Seems good. I mean, I could play Teleria West this turn, get the comes and play tapped portion out of the way, but it doesn't actually do anything. Yep, I have made a mental misstep. So you can save me for one. Does he have a land? Does have a land. So you can save me for two. This combo seems really good against him, not gonna lie. I mean, he does have enough blockers that he can try to, like, what, combo me out? He's up to three now, so Master of Ethereum is not going to be small. I can rep surprise repeal if he only leaves one blocker, though. Cranial plating. Okay. Sure. That doesn't do anything. Yeah, I make Merit Lage. Now what? Oh, I can Thought Seize him, which has some value. I can... I've got the Repeal for the giant one. Which is probably how I have to play this. Right. So we know he's got Master of Ethereum in his hand. I don't really want him to have two giant things. Also, it could be that I'm allowed to take eight damage. So that my surprise repeal kills him. I lose to what? Fling in that world? And I lose to Ravager? Well, I don't see a major difference between 13 and 11, so 
<laughs> Does have the fling. This doesn't kill me, right? This just is an artifact, so that guy goes to nine power, and he gets plus one, plus one, so it goes to 10 power. I lose to random land off the top. Well, random land off the top would, would oblige me to repeal that guy. Whatever, I'm taking the fling. He drew a zero. God damn it. That's annoying. Oh, the fact that he drew a zero is super annoying because now it's 11 and I'm on 11. Which means I'm obliged to repeal. But it means he can still have two flying blockers. Either of which can pick up a cranial plating. Super annoying. So I go Vampire Hex Mage, and the next turn. I can use Jace to try to clear a path? Does Thessian Sage do anything? It means I don't have to spend Chrome Mox. I'd rather try to find another repeal. I think I have to use the Jace to try to bounce. I can't attack here, because if I attack here, he'll crack back and kill me. Even if I play Mental Misstep to chump Master, Wait, yeah. Cranial plating just creates a lethal flyer. I don't think I want Thespian Sage though, because I have Chrome Mox for a mental misstep. not used to looking at my hand in modern when he's on the play come turn one obviously the skull clamp was the whole game if he doesn't have the skull clamp to draw into the lands then this is an easy win for me but it's like he's on the play going first i'm just watching right it's modern i can't do anything yes randy you can do things thought that was going to go. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm not going to randomly take three damage. I'm going to have to let him draw two cards, right? Is that true? Oh my god. I mean, I, both my creatures kill it. It's just a question of Letting him draw three cards. I don't think I take three damage here. I mean, it means the master is lethal. It means all kinds of bad things can happen. What a weird spot. Hmm. 
spell sky's annoying. Does this mean I have to Jace draw cards? I think it does. Those aren't very exciting. I can keep the fetch lamp, then I have to get rid of both of those. I mean, the dig's gonna be good. Ponder's not bad. I guess I'd rather, I can have a draw phase next turn or I can have a ponder. I guess I'd rather have a clean draw phase next turn. I'm not putting the dig back. And I can't attack once again. If I attack, he just cranial plating's a flyer and I'm dead. He has the ability to move the cranial plating. If he sees BB, I'm just dead. Yeah, he sees it. Damn it. Couldn't distract him with Chase. Does he know to move cranial plating? He lost a game. He didn't see this in a previous round, so yeah. Totally my fault. Ah, I hate that. Hercules Recall seems good in this matchup. Spell Pierce seems pretty good in this matchup. No, no, it's not Spell Pierce. To the Royal, maybe? Maybe even Dark Blast. Probably not Dark Blast. Missteps are solid. So the issue is I don't oh I don't think I want thought seize. It's only good against him super early. I'd rather just let him dump his hand and then I Hercules to buy to buy time is how this works. That's my only repeal. Lucky to even have it. I think I do Dark Blast. Like the Disciple is so annoying. I don't think I Chalice though. Jace is slow, Dig is slow, but I don't have that many of them. I have one Chalice randomly in the deck. It's not even that exciting. Like, his threats are twos, threes, ones. I like three dig. One random thoughtsies. I mean, the first one can be good, especially early. I don't think I want to be paying the life for multiples, though. All right. Let's try this. Challenge might be really good. It's not like I can accelerate much. I mean, Chalice on the play. Oh, I Chalice zero against him? I should be chalicing zero. No? <laughs> half a combo, half a combo, but two preordains. Oh, but no blue mana. 
Oh, this draw has no blue mana, and like stage hex mage don't really go together. I think it's a mulligan with no blue mana. If I don't draw blue mana immediately, or dark depths. I'm a mulligan. Alright, now I have Watery Grave. I have half a combo, I have one preordain. Multiple crow boxes that don't really fit this draw. <sighs> Second hex mage is not the right answer. Paying life so I can preordain? I think that answer is yes. I need the Tarn. And I can't cast the Jace. Wow. This hand is not good. Of course. Of course. I can't even get a basic swamp with that. I'll pay two life. I get one of them back since the disciple can't attack. Got a lot better. I don't see any reason to attack. Don't want to get randomly. I don't know. He's ways of enhancing his creatures dramatically. Yeah. Now I'm on the draw. These chalices may be better. I, I don't know. So much of what this particular season of Gauntlet is about is just learning how the decks work, right? Learning how this bizarro format actually works that... is 11 zeros that I could get out. I mean, and his ones are powerful, but so are mine. His twos are good. I don't know. It's only 11 zeros. Maybe a couple chalices would be good there. All right, I'm on the draw. Chalice, I don't, I don't think I like chalice on the draw. Yeah, I don't want to chalice one. I might be willing to chalice two, but shuts a lot of my stuff down too. wouldn't mind shading digs, but I mean, I don't want multiple thought seizes in my deck. I'm going to keep it like this. Okay. Half a combo, half a combo. Lots of ways to get there. Keep, I'm keeping this one. It has two mana. I can put misstep under Chrome Mox. It has missteps to slow him down, which I will pay attention to this game. I get the turn one thought sees. Turns on his opal without exposing himself to mental misstep. That's less than ideal. <laughs> He's just not going to play a one. Funny. Three cards in his hand. Oh, this is just pay life and thought sees, right? I don't want to put Thopter Foundry under a Chrome Box. Oh, I guess I lose the ability to get black mana if I under a Chrome Box if I do it that way, but I don't think I can not Thoughtseize here. Like, his current board is slow. 
And he's probably got gas. Like, he kept on the strength of something. Yeah, I definitely want to turn on Dotsies. Oh, it's just a disciple. All right, he's got a great furnace and a seat of the synod. He needs to draw action. Of course, so do I. <laughs> Seriously? What just happened? Off the top of the deck, and he's built his entire draw out of twos. Wow, now I'm taking eight. Lovely. Ugh. Hex mage one time? Unbelievable. So I'm dead unless I block this thing with a thopter. So I have to what? I also know his hand is blank. have to get a second black source in case I find finally find the stupid hex mage. So I guess Scalding Tarn's gonna get tapped watery grave. blocked. And we're going to acquire a second black source. So now I need the four hex mages or Thespian stage will do the trick here too. Oh, Thespian stage would take a turn since Dark Death is in my hand. <laughs> Hilarious. Well, at least I can sack something without imprinting. Source beats me. So you can move the print plating again. Well, Black Source forces me to sack both chrome boxes, I suppose. Doesn't have a Black Source. Oh, he has a second plating. Of course he has a second plating. Yup. Three toughness, three toughness too, so I can't even can't even gang block. Alright, here's the thing. If I draw Hex Mage, I won't have a mana to activate Thopter Foundry. So 
I won't be able to make a blocker. I'll have Hex Mage and no second blocker, and I'll die. So I think I have to sack the Foundry now. If I draw Sword of the Meek, I don't have the mana to get the chain started anyway. So I think my only out at this point is... Well, Hercules Recall is obviously awesome. But if I don't draw Hercules Recall, then I have to draw Hex Mage. I mean, I guess I regret this if I go Hercules into exactly Sword. But yeah, I want to make sure I can win the game with a Hexbane's top deck. So I'm going to go ahead and sack my Thopter Foundry while I have the mana. Oh, I can transmute for Thespian stage, but not here. So we're just dead. Unbelievable. I feel like I did wrong by this deck. I wonder if I should have Seed of the Synod in here. Almost gained enough life, too. I didn't quite get to 12. Sorry, deck. Good game, Shadow. Good game, sir. Do you like my top deck skills? So good. Oh, I, I threw the first game away, too. I feel like we had the wrong result. Or I don't know what the right result is in the long run, but I I literally didn't notice the mental misstep in my hand that I should have pointed at your turn one skull clamp in the first game, and like oh right the skull sure. clamp, like the skull your hand just exploded you used skull clamp multiple times you drew into lands and misstep just sat in my hand and eventually got exiled to Chrome Mox like four turns later <laughs> I literally just didn't see it in my hand like I wasn't thinking about the fact that you're on the play going first and I still have the ability to cast spells right it's modern. sure. I, I don't know. It's not a good excuse, but... So, I was supposed to win game one, and then you were supposed to just get screwed in game two. And then I actually felt pretty good about my draw in game three, and you just... You're, I had two mental missteps in game three, and I'm like, I'm going to see the mental missteps. You're just like, zero, zero, two, two. Thought sees you. You have nothing. I take a one because it's the only target, and then cranial plating off the top. So you thought C is the only thing you could mental misstep. Well, it was the only target in your hand, but I mean, sure. mostly yes. It's your top deck skills, right? Cranial plating yeah. off the top, followed by second cranial plating off the top was kind of savage. It was not the worst thing that could have happened, it's true. But we should have been playing game three. That's uh, That one's on me. That's, that's fair. I did cite in uh, tokens get negative one, negative one. I was hoping to surprise you with it. Cute. Take my team. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> I think it turns off your other thing, too, if oh, I'm not mistaken. Oh, it destroys yeah. Thopter Death. Yeah. It's, it destroys the one half of it. Well, I thought between that, which I only have one of, and running four uh, spell skites, I'm like, well, okay. I, you know, if I could get it early, or I could just turn things sideways and kill you. Like, that's like that's plan A. But, Yo. yeah. But uh, plan, it turns out plan C is draw nothing. And then dr draw things off the top to make you sad. I mean, I would have been happier if I could have got a second black source. Right. But, you know, like a, cra a second cranial plate is roughly the same thing. So sure. I guess that worked out. Yeah. All right. Affin All right. Affinity is a totally worthy top eight deck. I don't feel bad about having Affinity in the top eight. 